In this video, we're going to be talking about paths inside of Rebel 7. Now, I'm going to show you here, this is Affinity Designer 2. You can see I have a logo over here in Affinity Designer. We're going to export as an SVG. This is going to allow us to use the paths inside of Rebel 7. So let's click export. And we're going to bring that over into Rebel 7 as a path. We're going to go to Window, Paths is keyboard shortcut Shift plus P. You can see I have this logo already here. In order to get that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to browse for an SVG file. So I've done that already. You can see over here our list of paths and the path library. You can import here, add a single one or remove a path by clicking on these three icons here. And now to add it to our desktop, we can click, we can flip vertically, horizontally, or both. We can reset and we can hide it. You can select and tap somewhere on the blank section of the path panel to turn that on or off. Okay, so what does this look like? Let's go ahead and go to our inks. And let's grab a wax pencil. We're going to go around. Let's pick another color. Up and down. Let's use some blue. And a little red. Let's use our blending. Uh, I actually really like this for a lot of different reasons. I was doing this a couple different ways in the past. And this, I think, provides us with the very best combination of how this, this works, a really clean result. All right, so let's turn this off and let's zoom in. Okay, so we're going to just tap in the blank space up here. And you can see now we've got this nice looking logo with these sections that are actually blended. So here, if I want to blend, I can blend this here. It stays on the path. Let's add a little dark section here, a little lighter section here, and blend those with the blend tool, keyboard shortcut four. And again, let's tap somewhere in the blank area up here. And you can see we've got this really nicely blended logo. Works really well. Let's check out some of the other ones, that, some of the default ones inside of the paths folder. Let's do this one. Let's scale it up. We're going to rotate in the corner and scale it in. Good. Now let's use a different tool. We're going to use a watercolor brush. And make a giant path around this one. Let's do a bubble. We're going to flip this one horizontally so the little dialog arrow is off to the side. Let's make this nice and thick as well. See, we've got two brushes going, working here together. See, this one is diffusing, but the diffusion is being constricted to the path. All right, you guys, if you have questions about how to use paths, please put that in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. Until next time, stay creative and have a wonderful day.